Namaste everyone, I am your co-host Shawnee Ma'am. Welcome to your favorite learning channel. The topic for today's video is Heterotrophic Nutrition. So in our previous video, we had learned about Autotrophic Nutrition and we saw that Autotrophic Nutrition is the mode of nutrition in which organisms produce their own food. So now, we will be studying about another mode of nutrition called Heterotrophic Nutrition. Nutrition. Okay. So what happens in heterotrophic nutrition? It is a mode of nutrition. Okay. In this mode of nutrition, what happens is the organisms, the organisms depend on they depend on other organisms. Other organisms for what? For food. So in autotrophic nutrition, the organisms never dependent on other organisms for food because they synthesize their own food. But here the organisms are dependent on other organisms for food as they do not synthesize or do not prepare their own food okay so all the animals all the animals as well as the non green plants those which do not perform photosynthesis they are heterotrophic they are Heterotrophic. Heterotrophic organisms. Okay. So now there are different types of heterotrophic nutrition. Okay. Different types of heterotrophic. Nutrition. Okay. We'll see what are the different types of heterotrophic nutrition. In autotrophic nutrition, we had seen that autotrophs prepare their food by the process of photosynthesis. But now that the animals, these organisms, are dependent on other organisms for food, we'll see what are the different types of heterotrophic nutrition. So, first we'll be talking about holozoic. Nutrition. So, what happens in holozoic nutrition? This involves intake of. It involves intake of what? Of either liquid or solid form of food. Okay. Then, the after intake. It gets digested, that is the process of digestion is included. Then there is absorption of the digested food. And after the food gets absorbed, it is utilized. So there is utilization of the absorbed food. Utilization of the energy. What is utilized? The energy from the food is utilized. Utilization of energy obtained okay then there is excretion there is excretion what gets excreted there is excretion of undigested food undigested waste products or undigested food we can say okay for example holozoic nutrition can be seen in animals like cows, buffaloes, rabbits, also in human beings. Okay? So, this is about holozoic nutrition. The next type of heterotrophic nutrition is parasitic nutrition. Parasitic nutrition. Okay, 
So what happens in parasitic nutrition? There is an organism for parasite. Okay. So parasite is the organism is the organism that obtains food that obtains its food and nutrition from other living organisms other living organisms and these other living organisms from which the parasite is obtaining food is called host this is the host organism from which the parasite derives its nutrition okay sometimes so what happens is here the host is harmed by the is harmed by the parasite okay and the parasite the parasite is benefited parasite gets benefited from the host because it is deriving nutrition from the host hence it is getting benefited while the host gets harmed by the parasite okay so we can take examples of parasites like head lice then round worm okay etc so these are parasites that live on living host like the head lice can be found on our head okay it derives its nutrition the head lice gets its nutrition from human beings when they are present on our head then round worm can be found in our intestine it causes severe infections right so the host here is getting harmed and whereas the parasite is getting benefited from the host so next mode of heterotrophic nutrition is saprophytic nutrition what happens in saprophytic nutrition in this mode of nutrition this involves feeding on it involves feeding and feeding is on dead and decaying dead and decaying plants and animals okay and such organisms such organisms that follow this mode of nutrition are called such organisms that follow this mode means the saprophytic mode of nutrition they are called what are they called they are called saprophytes okay saprophytes are the organisms that follow the saprophytic mode of nutrition for example there are bread molds bread mold there are fungus okay fungus or fungi that can be found on decaying decaying material okay so these are saprophytic organisms okay they feed on dead and decaying parts of plants and animals okay so let's just quickly revise the things that we have studied so we saw what is heterotrophic nutrition that the organisms or in this mode of nutrition what the organisms do they do not synthesize their own food but they are dependent on other organisms for their requirement of food and nutrition so all the organisms that follow heterotrophic mode of nutrition can be called as heterotrophs 
so here the animals all the animals as well as non green plants are examples of heterotrophic organisms okay so there are different types of heterotrophic nutrition first we had discussed about holozoic nutrition this mode of nutrition involves the intake of food that is ingestion ingestion of solid or liquid food and then this food that is ingested gets digested means it gets broken down into simpler substances then after digestion these simpler substances gets absorbed in our body in our blood then the energy that we obtain from the food gets utilized okay and finally the undigested food gets excreted so these are the processes that are involved in holozoic nutrition Holozoic nutrition can be found in animals like cows, rabbits, also in human beings. Okay, so here we have taken an example of cows. We can see the cows are feeding on grass mainly, so they are herbivores. It is a type of holozoic nutrition. Okay, then we have discussed about parasitic nutrition. in parasitic nutrition there is an organism called parasite which is usually smaller than the host organism so what parasite does is this organism obtains its all the nutrition requirements like food from other living organism and this living organism is known as host okay so in this type of nutrition host organism gets harmed by the parasite whereas the parasite gets benefited from the host for example head lice round worm etc here we can see the picture of head lice okay so there is a picture of round worm here okay not head lice it is round worm head lice is also an example of parasitic nutrition here we can see the picture of round worm it can be found in the intestine of human beings it causes various infection in humans and so the humans get harmed by this parasite whereas round worm causing infection it obtains all its nutrition from its host then we talked about saprophytic nutrition in saprophytic nutrition what happens it involves feeding the organism feeds on dead and decaying plants and animals okay such organisms which follow this mode of nutrition are called saprophytes for example the bread mold fungus that can be found on decaying material so here we are taken an example of bread mold that can be found on decaying bread okay they secrete several enzymes by which they can feed on dead and decaying plants and animals okay so this is about saprophytic nutrition so i hope you all would have got some great insights by watching today's video please do not forget to like and share the video till then thank you for watching